Airdrop 35 pounds anti-submarine hollow charge bomb, complete with nose fuse, but minus the cylindrical nose attachment. Original caption, in the summer of 1942, experiments were made in using the hollow charge principle against tanks. Captain Terrell explains in his book Admiralty Brief the method of using the hollow charge was to place the explosive behind a cone of steel and fire the explosive. The cone had to be a certain pitch from the base of the apex, and within certain limits the thickness of the steel used in the cone was important. The result was that the cone, by reason of the heat and direction of the explosion, would project forward a jet of molten metal at about 7,000 feet per second. This remarkable phenomenon of the projection of this molten jet of metal was that it would converge in at a point just like the rays of light passing through a burning glass and concentrating at a particular place. At this point of concentration the penetrating power of the molten jet was quite astounding and a hollow charge could be easily contained with its explosive in a 35-pound bomb, would penetrate and make a clean hole through 8 inches of steel. Have you ever heard of the typical weapon called the depth charge? In today's session, we're going to discuss this further and take a look at what it actually is. So don't go anywhere, stay tuned only at this channel. A depth charge is an anti-submarine warfare weapon. It's designed to destroy a submarine by being dropped into the surrounding water and detonating, causing a powerful and damaging hydraulic shock to the target. Most depth charges are made up of high explosives and a fuse that's set to detonate the charge at a certain depth. Ships, patrol aircraft, and helicopters can all launch depth charges. Additionally, a depth charge fitted with a nuclear warhead is also known as a nuclear depth bomb. These were designed to be dropped from a patrol plane or deployed by an anti-submarine missile from a surface ship or another submarine located a safe distance away. Moreover, the damage that an underwater explosion inflicts on a submarine comes from a primary and a secondary shockwave. The primary shockwave is the initial shockwave of the depth charge and it'll cause damage to personnel and equipment inside the submarine if detonated close enough. The secondary shockwave is a result of the cyclical expansion and contraction of the gas bubble, and it'll bend the submarine back and forth and cause catastrophic...